Welcome to the Tempo Learning Tool for Maple Syrup Urine Disease, also known as MSUD. Temple, Tools Enabling Metabolic Parents Learning, was developed in partnership with leading healthcare professionals and Nutrition Metabolics. Your baby may have been diagnosed with MSUD. We are here to help you understand the diagnosis and what you can do to make sure your baby grows and develops just like any other bundle of joy. What is MSUD? MSUD is an inherited metabolic condition, which stands for maple syrup urine disease. In MSUD, the body has trouble breaking down protein, which it needs to help grow and repair itself. Protein is made up of chains of smaller units called amino acids. Our body changes amino acids into other substances, or energy, with the help of enzymes. Think of enzymes like a pair of scissors. Individuals with MSUD have a deficiency of an enzyme complex called branched chain ketoacid dehydrogenase. Three amino acids called leucine, isoleucine, and valine, also known as branched chain amino acids, cannot be broken down. This means that levels of these amino acids, leucine in particular, can build up to toxic levels in the blood and the brain. This may affect babies and children in different ways. If left unmanaged, some babies develop symptoms such as sleepiness or irritability in the first few days. Babies may deteriorate and even go into a coma, which can lead to brain damage. Other children may develop symptoms at a later stage, and this may be caused by an infection such as the flu or vomiting illness. Early management can prevent brain damage and learning difficulties. MSUD is screened through the newborn screening process and diagnosed by additional blood samples to measure the levels of leucine, isoleucine, and valine in the blood. Your clinician may conduct additional testing to confirm the diagnosis. How did your child get MSUD? MSUD is an inherited condition. There is nothing that could have been done to prevent MSUD. Everyone has a pair of genes that make up the branched chain ketoacid dehydrogenase enzyme. In children with MSUD, neither of these genes works correctly, so these children inherited one non-working MSUD gene from each parent. Parents of children with MSUD are carriers or have MSUD themselves. Most people don't know they're carriers. When both parents are carriers, there is a 1 in 4 chance their child will inherit MSUD. It is possible for a child to not be a carrier if they inherit a working gene from both parents. You can manage MSUD through your baby's diet and regular blood testing. There are two main components to managing MSUD through diet, a whole protein restricted diet and a special metabolic formula. Even though branched chain amino acids are dangerous for someone with MSUD, they are essential for normal development. A limited and controlled amount must be taken daily. This means your baby can only have a small amount of breast milk or standard infant formula. As your child gets older and starts eating regular food, foods that are high in protein must be avoided since all protein contains branched chain amino acids. Your dietitian will tell you how much breast milk, infant formula, and foods with whole protein to feed your baby. As your baby starts to eat solids, your clinic will work with you to teach you how to track and limit branched chain amino acids. In addition to a branched chain amino acid restricted diet, a special metabolic formula is essential. This special formula is branched chain amino acid free which means it does not contain the amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine, but provides otherwise all the necessary vitamins, minerals, protein, and energy your baby needs to grow. Your dietitian will determine how much metabolic formula to give your baby. MSUD Animix Early Years is the first MSUD infant formula to contain DHA, ARA, and prebiotic fiber. DHA is important for your baby's brain and eye development, while the prebiotic fiber blend supports immune and digestive health. To help add variety into your child's diet, 
Nutrition offers special low-protein foods, including low-protein fruity cereals, animal pasta, and cake mix. You can also find a wide range of low-protein recipes at medicalfood.com forward slash recipes. You can monitor MSUD by completing regular home blood tests that you send to a laboratory for screening. Your metabolic dietitian will contact you with the results and discuss any changes in management. How is MSUD monitored? For every child, regular checkups are essential. They are especially important for a child with MSUD. During your clinic visit, your baby's height and weight will be measured. Blood tests will be taken to check amino acid and nutrient levels. You will review your child's blood tests, growth, development, and current diet and make adjustments to their diet accordingly. What happens if your baby gets sick? For individuals with MSUD, a metabolic crisis causes a buildup of leucine and other toxic substances, which is usually triggered by childhood infections or viruses causing high temperatures, vomiting, and diarrhea. During illness, the body will start breaking down body protein, causing blood leucine levels to increase. It is extremely important to start the emergency protocol your metabolic team has developed for you and contact your clinic right away. Your metabolic team may have you stop all protein foods and drinks. Start the emergency protocol made up of metabolic formula and glucose. Always take full amounts of emergency feeds as prescribed. If prescribed, continue taking isoleucine and valine supplements. If symptoms continue or you are worried, go immediately to the hospital. Remember, it is essential that you contact your metabolic team immediately if your child gets sick. Make sure to follow their instructions without any delay. To review, MSUD is a serious inherited metabolic disorder that can lead to severe brain damage. You can manage it with a diet low in branched chain amino acids and a special metabolic formula. During illness, it is imperative that you contact your child's metabolic team. Emergency feeds are started promptly, followed strictly, and there are no delays in management. Regular blood tests are essential to monitor the management of MSUD. When your child is ill or not behaving as usual, it is important to communicate with your metabolic team regularly to prevent metabolic crisis. Always ensure to have a good supply of your special dietary products and branched chain amino acid free metabolic formula and that they are not expired. Continue to give the amount of branched chain amino acid free formula as prescribed by your metabolic clinic and have your emergency protocol. And remember, when correctly managed, your child can enjoy normal growth and development. Finally, always have the details of your metabolic team. To learn more about MSUD and how you can support your child, visit medicalfood.com.